And despite the pandemic, people are still out and about at Super Bowl watch parties tonight. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us at String Sports Brewery. Bree, uh, people have been told to physically distance themselves. Scott, yes, tonight was a very exciting night. You know, the Buccaneers taking that big win at that big game, and people were following those CDC guidelines in String Sports Brewery just right behind me. It's closed now, but it was pretty exciting during the day. Check it out. Rooting for Tampa, of course. Jacksonville's the home, but always rooting for Tampa. Proud of football fans, watch this year's big game at String Sports Brewery. We can't be over there in the stadium because the tickets are a little bit too <laughs> expensive, but we'll be able to support them here. We tried to ensure that everyone had a good, safe distance to be a part. Anthony Garcia, a bartender at the String Sports Brewery, says he and his colleagues are doing their best to make sure everyone's safe. I encourage mass. Um, but other than that, you know, we just try to make sure to be as clean as possible. Uh, it's always, you know, after doing any task and you want to wash your hands, this is the reasonable thing to do. Things we should have done before the pandemic. Fans wore masks and followed guidelines. Many were just excited to be able to watch the game somewhere. It's definitely totally different, but, you know, you just do what you got to do. The way they've done things here ensures that you can be socially distanced and still have a good time. Employees were pleased with the turnout and glad they were able to host a watch party safely this year. Super Bowl comes once a year and uh, we're the place where people should come and, and drink and enjoy it. As you can see, people enjoyed their time at String Sports Brewery tonight. They were all following those CDC guidelines, and the people working there were doing so as well. I'm live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thanks, Bree.